Okay, so this is my Carolyn 31 day wall clock. I purchased it back in, I think, near the end of October, I think, or probably August. So, well, I don't think it would be that long ago. I can't remember when, when I got it, so I paid $25 for it and I paid $40 to get it fixed. And it's still working. Works just fine. Um, there's no issues whatsoever. I know that TikToking's really annoying. Um, I'm gonna stop that actually. But I might as well let it chime because by the time I'm done this video, it's already gonna be 12 o'clock, so anyway. Anyway, ever since I got this clock, I never once cleaned the glass. Obviously, you can tell. I've never once cleaned the wood. So I decided to get up, walk over to it with this damp, damp cloth. Like, it's not too damp, but we all know that if we wipe it on wood, little white water spots will appear. Really, you're not supposed to do this. You're supposed to use special cleaning liquids for wood, but anyway, I don't care. I just want to clean it. So I walked over, went like this, all the way down, looked at the cloth, and I thought, ooh, that's gross. Like, that's the exact same color that came off these keys when I first got this piano. When I first got this piano, all the keys were yellow. I washed, well, I didn't wash them, but I used bleach and hot water. And, uh, of course I wore gloves because bleach is really, um, bad for your hands and it will burn afterwards. Like, it won't set the piano on fire, but it does burn your skin, though. So, it's best to be protective when you're dealing with chemicals and stuff. So, I cleaned each individual key with bleach and hot water. You can obviously tell a little bit of water got on to the wood. Not that bad. But anyway, I don't know where this mark came from. I know that wasn't for me because that was already there when I got the piano. Um, the noise in the background, such as the beeping, is coming from my sister's room of all places. So, sorry, but I gotta try to try to ignore it. So anyway, I thought, wow. That's a shocker. I can't believe ever since I got this clock, I never once cleaned it. Okay, well, let's try it again. We're going to try this part of the cloth because it's all white. I'm going to get that same area again and try to see how much dirt comes off. And if I get more dirt, I'm taking this clock down and I'm cleaning it. Now, I don't want to disturb... Oh yeah, this clock's coming down. Oh, shit. Don't want to get it on the piano. I don't want to... Shit. Damn it. I don't want to ruin the mechanism inside. Like, I don't want to disturb any of the mechanisms when I'm cleaning it. So I'm gonna... Gotta be very, very careful. And I know this isn't... A real finish, like it's just fake and all that, but try to make this clock look nice and clean again. This clock wasn't really um, appreciated when when the previous owners had it. 
It was actually uh, in pretty terrible condition. It's missing one of the um, the brass rings that goes around the the winder hole. This one has it, but the other one's missing. In fact, that one's kind of close to coming off too. I got this clock fixed in. I don't know where I got it fixed in. I think I got it serviced in Cambridge. I can't remember. I paid forty dollars. I remember that. The guy quoted me twenty, but obviously charged me forty. And well, when I sent the clock there, the top piece, which is called the crown, there's a hole on the top where the peg sticks in. And it would just kind of stick up like that, giving the clock its character. Well, stupid me thinking I could trust a European clockmaker or clock repairman who has 36 years of experience to take care of that piece ends up telling me that he lost it. So, that pretty much pissed me off. So I'm going to take this clock down. Carefully, if I drop it, I swear to God, I'm going to lose my mind. <clears throat> oh, shit. That's odd. The pendulum's going this way, and it's still tick-tocking. Quiet, you. Anyway. If you can see, there's where the crown used to sit. Well, it's missing now. Oh my god. I'm trying to figure out how to use that little stopper down there. Every time when I move it towards the pendulum, it doesn't really... Well, kind of does, but it doesn't really... What it's supposed to do is it's supposed to stop the pendulum from swinging back and forth, but doesn't look all that effective to me. Another reason why you gotta be careful when cleaning this thing with a damp cloth is because sometimes the finish will actually peel off. Here's a perfect example. I used a lemon cleaner, it's for wood services and whatnot, and wood flooring. And uh, I cleaned the piano's surface, and this is what happened. If you can hear that, it's actually the finish lifting off from its surface. Like, it's actually, I don't know how they do this. I'm not sure if they glue this piece on after finishing it up, making it shiny and all that. I'm not sure if it's glued on or what it is, but here it sounds normal, but over here, you can tell it's actually lifting off, or it's not sitting on there right. Yeah, so you can see that moving. You can just put a spatula under there and just get it off. That's what I'm worried about, actually. I don't don't want anything to happen to this piano. Ooh, that didn't sound good. But anyway, this side of the clock doesn't look too bad, actually. It looks pretty clean. I don't know if this is part of the finish or if this used to be the original finish. This looks like real wood. This looks like someone painted it, kind of like a darker brown, with a little bit of black in it. I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm going to clean this clock up. When we come back, it'll probably look a little bit better. Not sure if you'll notice the difference, but I'm definitely going to clean the glass. I don't think there's a way to take the, the glass out. 
and I don't want to risk it either. I could take the door off, but... It looks like someone already tried to do that because one of the screws are a little bit crooked. So I'm not going to take the door off. I'm just going to clean it the way it is. Just opened. Usually to dry the glass you would use paper towel, but... See that? That was from that stupid cloth, and damn it, I keep putting it on the piano. Shit. So, in order to prevent getting these little flakes from the uh, cloth or paper towel, I just use regular clean sock. Don't worry, this is a brand new sock, so who cares? You know, you wear them on your feet anyway, it doesn't matter, so... You know, might as well use them to clean something when they're brand new and then just put them on your feet afterwards. You're gonna get cleaned again, so. Bitch, bitch, bitch. I don't give a shit. I don't know if I should use Windex or something. <laughs> like, holy shit. This clock isn't all that old, so I'm not too worried about its patina. Um, like, the age. Like, the clock is about 30, 30 something years old. It's not as old as B. Bishop PCMs. I wish I had a clock like his. Damn. I saw one on Kijiji that looked exactly like his, but it was a different make, but the cabinet was still the same. I thought, oh, look, it's a clock that looks just like his. Except for it looked like it was a newer model. The case was a little bit lighter, and, of course, it was made by a different company. So, little circles, just cleaning it around. Getting in the corners is a pain in the ass. And it looks like those are little paint splats on it. I don't know who in the hell did that. There's a few dings all over the clock. I don't know. They had a schoolhouse looking clock and I didn't want that. I, I wanted something that actually matched the style of my bedroom. And I liked how these little peacocks are right in the middle where the pendulum is. So I kind of eyed this clock a lot more than the other one. And the other one needed so much work. Like the hands had fallen off, um, the winder mechanism, both of them were busted. The key was missing too, but I tried the key out from this one in the other clock and no good. I don't know, I gotta think of something because obviously that didn't work. Damn it. Okay, so at my local Walmart here in Brantford, where I got my new glasses from. Hey, cool. Um, at the Vision Center, when I bought these glasses, they gave me a free bottle of this cleaner stuff. It came in a, a smaller bottle, like about that small. And it had a bigger bottle taped to it. You can clean iPod screens, glasses, camera lenses, and the screen. LCD monitors, phones, and it also says you can clean glass and plastic. So, why don't I give it a shot? Now, obviously, I gotta put the camera down because once the water starts going down, I gotta catch it before it does. I'm gonna put my glove on and already there's some dirt from from the clock I don't care if I use these socks for this purpose anyway like they're gonna get cleaned and per I think once I'm done cleaning the clock with them I'm gonna put them on my feet so you know they're clean right now but they'll get dirty afterwards depending on what I'm doing I'm trying to get a good shot here. I, I want to film this. 
guess, so. <laughs> but I can't hold the damn bottle with the suck in my hand at the same time. And I'm trying to avoid the mechanisms on here. I don't want to hit the glass. Well, I want to hit the glass, but I, I don't want to hit the faceplate. A little bit better than what it was. I use that stuff all the time. You can clearly see how much my glasses get dirty. So I'm going to clean this up. When, you, when we come back, the glass is going to be all clean. Okay, so I was able to clean the glass as much as I can. Um, not really all that satisfied with it. I might clean it after this video, but you know, I, at this point, I think this is the best I can do. But it doesn't look bad anymore. It doesn't even look like there's a glass there, to be honest. Now, I would like to clean the faceplate because whatever's on here is that little dot and little watermark on here. And I would like to clean the pendulum off too. So, you notice how it has fingerprints all over it. Oh, shit. So, yeah, like I, I just wanted to clean this clock because I got tired of looking at it the way it is. And uh, I should have cleaned it when I first got it, you know, before it got repaired. But the thing that really bothers me though is the glass is badly scratched. Yeah, like that's scratched. It looks like someone had a knife and just dragged it right down. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's really hard to catch it because it's on a glass window and you can't really tell. But right where I'm standing, right there, it's really noticeable. But to the camera, you can't even see it. Kind of right there. But anyway. Yeah, I thought this would be a fun little, little cleaning project because... I haven't really cleaned anything in a while, and come to think of it, I'm getting too lazy on my cleaning lately. So, anyway, I'm going to stop talking about the glass and stuff, I'm just going to get this entire thing cleaned up, and then I'm going to film it again and see how it came out. And there you go. The clock looks like it's brand new again. It actually looks like it came out of the factory. Wow. The only parts where I couldn't clean it was in the corners. You notice those little uh, dirty spots in the corners of the glass? I couldn't get them. And even if I wanted to remove each pane of glass, I would have to take each nail, which is situated at the top of this border or inner border I would have to somehow pull each nail out and they're right in there if I did that I would risk breaking one of the glasses so I don't want to risk that but anyway it actually does look like it came out from the factory and this is the result. Ew, that's gross. But anyway. Yeah. That's what this uh, Lysol cloth used to look like after cleaning um, each individual key. Well, I didn't use a Lysol cloth. I used a um, regular piece of paper towel and kind of look like that. But I'm happy with the result. Oh, there's one spot that I want to get though. It's right at the between the 1 and the 12. It's just 
I want to make sure this clock is all cleaned. Um, I don't want to see any dirty spots on it because I don't want to mess around with it any more than I have to. There, that's all better. There, now it is. Um, when the clockmaker, or yeah, the clockmaker, when he was done reassembling the entire clock, the way he put the hands back on wasn't really impressive. The minute hand, which is this longer one up here, was actually pulled outwards and it would press on the glass. And I'm pretty sure that's how the glass is all scratched. And, like, I mean that minute hand was actually pulled right out. So, I had to put my fingers in there and just press it up against the face and now it's a little bit straighter again. So now, when I close the window, it doesn't press on the, on the glass. So that's good. Now I'm going to reset the clock. But first I gotta wind it up. I'm not sure if this side needs to be wound. Oh! Shit. Oh! That scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. <sighs> Before warned, always remember when you're going to wind your clock up, this side, you turn this way. If you're going to wind up the chimer, you turn it that way. So, <laughs> oh geez, that really made my heart jump. Holy. I was so freaked out I couldn't think properly. Right winder on the clock that snapped was the pendulum winder. On this clock, you have to turn it left, which is counterclockwise. For the chimer winder, you have to turn it to the right, which is clockwise. So, sorry for the Confusion. Holy crap, I thought I actually broke the spring. But no, thank God. <sighs> there we go. So now, after having a flipping heart attack, Let's start the clock up. Oh, a little bit gently. Now I gotta set it back to 12. Okay, so 30, 35, 40, to 41. And I gotta wait until it says 42, and it's all set. Oh yeah, and the piano tuner guy's coming tomorrow. Oh, well, today, because it's already 12 a.m. 12.41, so. Yeah, I hope you guys Enjoyed seeing that. I almost shat my pants there. <laughs> Thinking that, oh no, don't tell me I busted another spring. The consequences could be dire. There we go. The clock is all set. I'm not going to touch it until it winds down. That 
always confuses me though because I if I have to turn this one that way which is to the right and if I have to turn this one that way I assume I'm gonna have to turn it to the right as well but no this side you turn to the left that side you turn to the right so anyway That was a pretty scary experience, but at the same time, it probably made you guys laugh. Thanks for watching.